Hi, I'm from Rising Wave Labs. We recently announced the general availability of Rising Wave Cloud, our cutting edge, fully managed SQL stream processing platform. So today I will demonstrate how to use it to ingest and process streaming data. To gain access to Rising Wave Cloud, head over to risingwave.com and click on Access Rising Wave Cloud. Fill out the form and check your inbox for an invitation link to complete the signup process. If you've previously signed up during our beta launch, you should be able to sign in using the same account. Once logged into Rising Wave Cloud, we are met with the dashboard where we have easy access to our additional list of resources down here. On the side, there are four tabs that will help us get set up with Rising Wave. Under Clusters, we can create and manage clusters, which provide the necessary resources for hosting databases and streaming pipelines. Under Source, we can create and manage sources. Under Query, we can access the built-in console to issue SQL queries. And finally, under Sync, we can create and see the list of existing syncs. In this demo, we'll go over how to create a cluster and a source, issue some SQL queries, and how to create a sync. Let's get started by creating a cluster. We can either click the Create Cluster button down here or go to the Clusters tab and click Create Cluster. For this demo, we'll select the free plan. We have the option of creating a cluster in AWS or Google Cloud. For this demo, we will select AWS. Once we've selected the region and named our cluster, click Create. It might take a few minutes to get the cluster up and running. Once the cluster has been created, we can connect to it in Rising Wave Cloud with the built-in console or locally. But first, we must create a database user. Select the database the user will be created in, fill in the username and password, and click Create User. Log in by filling in the password. If we were to connect to the cluster through a local client, we can go back to the Clusters tab, click Connect, and select the SQL user to connect with. The connection methods will be listed on the side, along with their respective configurations. For this demo, we will use the built-in console. Next, we'll create a source. We can either create a source by writing a SQL query or by using the guided setup in the source tab. We'll use the guided setup method. Select the cluster and database the source will be created in. Click Create Source. Currently, only Kafka sources are supported. Other services will be added soon. Fill in the corresponding details pertaining to the Kafka source. We can also specify the authentication settings if necessary. The source we're connecting to right now is a sample source included with Rising Wave Cloud. For details on the source, head over to the Query tab and see the sample queries included. Once the preliminary details are filled in, click Check Reachability and Continue. Don't worry about the warning, we can still connect to the source. Specify the row format, the startup mode, and click Continue. Now we can define the schema of the source by naming the columns and selecting the corresponding data type. When finished, click Continue. On the next screen, we see the generated SQL query that the server will use to create the SQL source. This query can be copied if needed. If everything looks correct, click Confirm. Now the source is created. To see the details of the source again, click on the source. Next, let's head over to the Query tab where we can issue SQL queries. On the left side, the source we just created should be listed. We can click it to see the columns included. Since we used a sample source, there are sample queries that have been prepared. Up top, under Sample Queries, select the demo Live Stream Metrics Analysis, which corresponds to the source previously created. We'll skip the first query since we've already created the source. By clicking on the query we want to run, the console automatically highlights the entire query, and we can click on the green Run button on the side, or the Run Selected button above. Any materialized view we create will be listed on the left-hand side. If we query from the materialized view using a select statement, we can see a preview of the query results by clicking on the Grid tab. There's also a timer here that we can use to let Rising Wave rerun the query in an interval. We can see that the values have been updated from 154 to 168. Under the Chart tab, simple visualizations can be created. There are options to create a bar, line, or area chart. Finally, once we've filtered and transformed the data, we can optionally sync the data to an external database by creating a sync. We can create a sync by issuing a query in the console here, or by heading over to the Sync tab and using the built-in generator. For this tutorial, we'll use the generator. Click Create Sync and select Kafka. Similar to how a source was created, 
fill in the preliminary details for the sink, click continue. Next, we can choose if we want to sync from a table, materialized view, or a query. If we choose to sync from a query, we'll need to write the query here. For the demo, we'll sync from a materialized view. Specify the format and click continue. If the sync format is upsert or debasium, the primary key must also be specified. Check if the SQL query looks correct and click confirm. We can see that the sync was successfully created. Now if we head back to the Clusters tab and click on the cluster we've been working in, we can see the cluster status, which includes information on the CPU usage, memory, throughput, and more. We can also see the materialized views we've created and add any new database users we want. That's all for today's demo. Feel free to test out Rising Wave Cloud to see if it meets your requirements. To access the documentation, head over to risingwave.dev. You can click on the Rising Wave Cloud tab for info on the cloud product, or the Rising Wave Database tab for our SQL reference, integration guides, and more. If you have more questions, head over to risingwave.com where you can join our Slack community or contact us directly. The Rising Wave team is always here to help.